Welcome to a video on the product and quotient rule with trigonometric functions. There are two other videos that go over the product and quotient rules in much more detail. This one focuses on applying these rules to trigonometric functions. We'll also take a look at the derivative of tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. So just to review, here's the product rule and the quotient rule. Notice in blue it's written with function notation and in red the abbreviated way and the same with the quotient rule, using function notation and then just using f and g. I prefer the abbreviated method just because it's less writing. Okay, so we've already talked about the derivative of sine and cosine as we see here, but our new derivatives are the derivative of tangent x is equal to secant squared x, derivative of cotangent x is equal to negative cosecant squared x, and the derivative of secant x is equal to secant x tangent x, and the derivative of cosecant x is equal to negative cosecant x cotangent x. Now we do pretty much have to memorize these. One way that can kind of help you is that remember that tan squared x plus one equals secant squared x. So tangent and secant always kind of go together, meaning you see tangent and secant x here as well as here, and then also that cotangent squared x plus one equals cosecant squared x. And whenever you have a cotangent, you also have a cosecant here and here. Let's take a look at the proof of the derivative of tangent x. We know we can rewrite tangent x as sine x divided by cosine x. Now in this form, we can apply the quotient rule. And if we do that, we end up getting cosine squared x plus sine squared x all over cosine squared x. And we know that cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals 1 and 1 over cosine squared x equals secant squared x. So you may want to pause the video and take a look at this, but really it's just an application of the quotient rule. And we could also prove the rest of the new derivative formulas using the quotient rule. Let's go ahead and take a look at some problems. We want to determine the derivative of each function, so we have y equals negative cosecant x minus 4 sine x. On the right I have all the formulas that we may need, but again eventually you should have these memorized. So y prime is going to equal negative two times the derivative of cosecant x, which is negative cosecant x cotangent x minus four times the derivative of sine, which would be cosine x. There's really not much else we can do other than clean it up a little bit, meaning y prime is equal to positive two cosecant x cotangent x minus four cosine x. One of the challenges you may face when finding these types of derivatives is trying to make your answer match the back of the book because as you know you can often manipulate trig functions into a variety of forms. Okay, in this function we have x squared times cotangent x so we'll have to apply the product rule so f prime of x is equal to the first function times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So notice how I haven't found any derivatives yet. I like to write out what we're going to do, then find the derivatives, and then simplify. So we have x squared times the derivative of cotangent x, which is negative cosecant x squared, plus cotangent x times 2x. Now these two products do have a common factor of x, so let's go ahead and factor that out. Next, I'm going to put this term first because it would be positive. So we'd have 2 cotangent x, and then here we'd have minus x cosecant squared x. And we'll go ahead and leave it like that. Let's go ahead and try a couple more here. Here we have y equals x times secant x plus tangent x. So this will require the product rule. So let's go ahead and write out what we're going to do, and then we'll find our derivatives. So y prime will equal the first, or x, times the derivative of secant x, plus the second, which is secant x, times the derivative of the first, which is x. So there's our product rule, plus we still have to find the derivative of tangent x. So now we'll find our derivatives in brackets, and then simplify. The derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. 
derivative of x is equal to 1, so we have plus secant x plus the derivative of tangent x is secant squared x. Notice we have a common factor of secant x. So let's go ahead and factor that out. So we'd be left with x tangent x plus 1 plus secant x. Let's put the secant x first. And there's our derivative. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more. Here we have a quotient, so let's go ahead and apply the quotient rule. Let's go ahead and start with the denominator squared. So we have the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. Okay, let's go ahead and find these derivatives and then see if we can simplify this. The derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. The derivative of cosecant x is equal to negative cosecant x times cotangent x all over cosecant squared x. Okay, now this seems like a big mess, but what we're going to do here is convert everything to sines and cosines and then see how we can simplify this. Cosecant is 1 over sine x. Secant x is 1 over cosine x. Of course, tangent is sine x over cosine x. Notice we have a subtraction sign here and then a negative, so we're going to have plus. This will be 1 over cosine x. Cosecant x is 1 over sine x. And then cotangent x is cosine x over sine x. This is all over 1 over sine squared x. Okay, let's see how this simplifies. Notice we have a common factor of sine x here. And over here we have a common factor of cosine x. Now, we have 1 over cosine squared x plus 1 over sine squared x. Now this is all divided by 1 over sine squared x. Remember, dividing by 1 over sine squared x is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So instead of dividing by 1 over sine squared x, we'll multiply by sine squared x over 1. When we do this, here we're going to have sine squared x over cosine squared x, and then plus 1. Well, sine squared x over cosine squared x is tangent squared x, and tangent squared x plus 1 is actually secant squared x. And that's our final derivative. Now this was a lot of work. A lot of times what people will do is try to manipulate the original function to avoid using the quotient rule. So let's go ahead and take a look at the same problem and see if we could have avoided using the quotient rule. Well, secant x is 1 over cosine x, and cosecant x is 1 over sine x. And just as we did before, this is the same as 1 over cosine x divided by 1 over sine x, so I could multiply by the reciprocal, or sine x over 1. So in fact, g of x is just sine x over cosine x, which is equal to tangent x. And now we know the derivative of tangent x is equal to secant squared x. So you can see if we would have manipulated the original function to begin with, we would have avoided the quotient rule and the problem would have been much easier. So you may want to consider doing this whenever possible. Thank you for watching and have a good day.